Hi, I'm John Holden. There's a need for clean energy to power our future, so we're on a fast track ferry to America's first offshore wind farm, coming up on Earth. For years now, our world has rallied behind the need for clean energy. Many see the need for cleaner technology to power our Earth's future, including the governor of Rhode Island. We can't move fast enough, in my opinion, to renewable sources of energy. We have to meet the challenges of climate change. And one way to do that is to have affordable, clean, reliable, sustainable energy for the people of Rhode Island. But not everyone can imagine what's possible for our energy future to actually look like. Eco-imagination is doing just that. When we launched Eco-imagination 12 years ago, GE wanted to be part of the solution and lead a clean energy transition that would support our customers and the world. It was a bold vision with challenging commitments. And since we've launched, GE has invested $20 billion in eco-imagination solutions. That's resulted in $270 billion of revenue. Our scientists are also using new materials like silicon carbide to create a new 99% efficient solar inverter. And we're developing highly efficient uh, CO2-powered turbines that can sit on a table but power 10,000 homes. One energy source that's made a big impact is wind including offshore wind. And GE has provided the turbines for the first offshore wind project in the United States. There's an enormous potential in technologies such as offshore wind. Rhode Island's governor is one of many who sees this. Uh, I think there's a lot of growth to the renewable industry, particularly the offshore wind industry. You know, climate change is real, it's scary, and if there's any silver lining at all, if we are urgent, to meet the challenge of climate change, we can create a lot of jobs for people. And so um, that's what I'm on a mission to do. GE technology already powers one third of our world's electricity. And harnessing the wind is one of its bedrocks for renewable energy. We have delivered 35,000 wind turbines in 35 countries to date. That is a significant impact by avoiding 600 million tons of carbon dioxide. GE has launched a digital wind farm, a new solution to help our customers improve clean energy output for their wind farm up to 20% by combining hardware and software. These thousands of wind turbines and digital solutions are just an example of the investments GE is making in clean energy innovation. Until now, all the wind power generated in the U.S. has been from wind turbines located on land. But now ocean winds are supplying that clean energy as America's first offshore wind farm spins to life. Block Island is about 13 miles south of Rhode Island. Three miles from its coastline, five massive wind turbines now rise above the Atlantic Ocean, supplying 30 megawatts of electricity to not only the island community, but also to the Rhode Island grid. Partnerships help us accelerate progress and make a greater impact. We work closely with Deepwater Wind on the first U.S. offshore wind project, which now provides the community, state, and New England with a new clean energy solution. The success of Block Island Wind Farm really opens up the potential and possibility for offshore wind projects. There is an incredible untapped potential for offshore wind in the United States and around the world. Built by a partnership of GE and Deepwater Wind, a developer of offshore wind projects, the Block Island Wind Farm is made up of five GE turbines that are twice as tall as the Statue of Liberty. An offshore wind farm involves really big stuff. All of the components are really large. The blades are very, very long. The foundations, the steel foundations that go into the water, 
are made of steel, 1,500 tons of steel in each one of the five foundations. So moving that equipment around is a real challenge. And one of the advantages of offshore wind is that we don't really have size constraints. We can build turbines really as large as the technology allows us to go. The further offshore you get, the stronger and steadier the wind is. So when you're in the middle of an ocean environment, you're in the middle of a really, really strong wind resource, which allows those really big turbines to produce a lot of power. And with a total output of 30 megawatts from this wind farm, that's enough clean energy to power every home, every business, like the National Hotel, everything on this island with enough electricity to give back to the grid. Clean energy is a journey around the world and we all need to work towards it. And seeing Black Island today is just such an amazing proof point of the work we do at Eco Imagination and the impact that we can make with great partners and customers. So it's a perfect marriage, a marriage of demand for energy on the coastline and a huge power source just off the coast. Our work in eco-imagination is just beginning. We're continually investing in clean technology solutions and we want to lead the way to a clean energy future. You know, this cool ocean wind sure feels nice, but who would have guessed what an impact this could have on our planet Earth? You could say the wind's the limit, at least when it comes to clean energy.